Welcome back, this is chapter 6. The Hundred Dresses Part 2 Written by Albasar Esther And now, page number 77 to you. So here we go. On Saturday, Maddie spent the afternoon with Peggy. They were writing a letter to Wanda Petronsky. It was just a friendly letter, telling about the contest and telling Wanda she had won. They told her how pretty her drawings were, and they asked her if she liked where she was living and if she liked her new teacher. So here these lines say, Maddie spent her Saturday afternoon at Peggy's house and that they decided and in fact wrote a letter to Wanda Petronsky. It was just an informal friendly letter which was to tell her about the contest and about her beautiful drawings and her winning it. Through this letter they wanted to get some personal information regarding the new place where she had settled with her family and all about her new teacher, whether she was as good as Miss Mason. Next part. Oh, they had meant to say they were sorry, but it ended up with their just writing a friendly letter are the kind they would have written to any good friend and uh, they signed it with lots of acts for love. They mailed the letter to Bargain Heights writing please forward on the envelope. So here this line say though uh, the letter was initially started with the prime objective of seeking forgiveness from her but it ended up in a friendly letter just as one writes to one's friend and at the end signed the letter with a lot of X that is letter X used for love for wonder after finishing this letter they posted it to the old address of her that is bargain sites and mention please forward on the envelope the next part days passed and there was no answer but the letter did not come back so maybe Wanda had received it perhaps she was so hurt and angry she was not going to answer. You could not blame her. So here this line say, Days went by without a response coming from the other end. They thought she might have received it, but being hurt or being annoyed at all the abuse she had faced, she didn't feel like writing back. And Carrying such sentiments, she couldn't be blamed. Next part. Weeks went by and still Wanda did not answer. Peggy had begun to forget the whole business and Maddie put herself to sleep at night making speeches about Wanda defending her from great crowds of girls who were trying to tease her with how many dresses have you got so here this line say it was a few weeks since or they wrote the letter to which there was no response the whole episode started to fade away from peggy's mind now maddie on the other hand could sleep peacefully but not until she could thought about the ways she was going to defend Wanda from the 
other girls who would be asking her the same question: how many dresses she was having. Next part. And before Wanda could press her lips together in a tight line, or the way she did before answering, Maddie would cry out, "Stop!" Then everybody would feel ashamed the way she used to feel. So here these lines say, "Stepping in, that is intervening in such situation." Maddie would shout, "Stop!" at the girls. Before Wanda could say a word, her aggressive posture would backtrack them and even made them feel bad about it. That is about their action. Next part. Now. It was Christmas time, and there was snow on the ground. Christmas bells and a small tree decorated the classroom. On the last day of school, before the holidays, the teachers showed the class a letter she had received that morning. So here, this line say, "Christmas time had come with snow." All about the place. The last day before the holiday had come, the classroom was decorated with bells and a small Christmas tree there. The teacher arrived there and showed the class a letter that she received on that very morning. So this is all for now. Thank you.